Welcome to the One Six Scale Man YouTube page. It's your boy LR, bring you the best in One Six Scale collectibles and anything and everything pop culture, as always. And yeah, you already see who it is. You already know what time it is. It's your boy Captain Rex in the building. This is the TMS zero one eight Captain Rex One Six Scale collectible from Hot Toys. One of the most highly anticipated figures of the year that we've been waiting for from Clone Wars. Rex himself. I mean, come on, man. What else can I say? What else do I need to basically say? This, 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 it speaks for itself. This is Rex. This is Captain Rex in all his glory. Um, can't say that I have not been one of the ones that have been, I've been anticipating this figure from day one. And I'm so glad to actually have him in hand. And, you know, Hot Toys has been on a roll. I mean, they're releasing so many figures now, and I'm happy to see it happen. And I'm, I'm, I'm all in for it. So without further ado, let's dive in. We do actually have the beautiful box art out here right now. Uh, displayed in the front, we do basically have that banner that wraps around. I hope they continue this with most of the other figures. We do see that Rex logo on the side here. You know, the figure itself. Uh, nice little portrait of Rex in the front of the box on the side here we have Captain Rex now this band basically only wraps around the front and the side on the back uh, we de definitely basically just have all the warnings and everything that comes with the box you already know once you get it in hand you'll see the same thing so this is nothing new of course when you open the box let's see here let's get this bad boy open when you open that box you get the beautiful bo box art of Rex. I mean, that's amazing. It speaks for itself there with his viewfinder in the front. So I like that. Um, man, I cannot wait to crack this piece open and get in. I mean, it's so amazing to have this in hand. I'm excited about it. I know you are once you get yours. So without further ado, we're going to get all the accessories outside this box on the table right here. Take a look at it. Get that figure out later. You'll be the judge. But man. Is this an exciting time? Like literally, this is an exciting time to be alive and to be a Star Wars fan and also be a Hot Toys collector and a collector in general because we're getting these pieces. I'm pretty sure you'll be happy when you get yours. I'm happy that I got mine, but without further ado, let's just get in. Let's go. And we are back. And as you can see, we have all of Rex's accessories out on the table, ready to go. <clears throat> and you know what? I'm excited. You excited? Let's just jump in right off the back. <clears throat> I'm just going to dive into that head sculpt first. Look at this. Look at that sculpt. Look at that head sculpt. It is amazing. The detail, the quality in that, that's Captain Rex. If you don't see it, I don't know what you're looking at, but literally, that is Rex. The detail in that Tamor to to Morrison head sculpt is there. And I like how basically they, you know, with a lot of these sculpts, they make sure that they are different. The mold is different when it comes like it's the same, you know, facial structure. It is Tamora Morrison, but you don't see the scar in it. You would actually see with Cody, you know, everyone has their own purpose, their own detailed look and interesting look. Um, and I do like that. I love the sculpt. I'll probably have this on him a few times. I was just thinking about having having this on him in a detail because, like I said, it just has so much presence with the head sculpt. I love it. But yeah. This is Rex. You can see that. Um, I like the detail on that. There's no taking away from that. And it's an amazing, and it's promising. This You already know that once you get that Boba Fett that's going to be released, the, the Boba Fett 2-pack, this is going to be highly impressive. So can't wait for that. Uh, a brilliant piece. Nonetheless, I can't, I can't say much more than that. Of course, we have the assortment of hands and also tally of kills and you know that he has etched in that hand on the armor you know that extends out to the armor you can see the detail on that the quality in that of course you know the paint application is completely amazing so i love that we actually have that with those hands and you get like two left two i mean actually three left two right um that come with it we have his infamous jetpack do like that what they do with these jetpacks is it's just magnetic so it just posts right on the back it's not it doesn't require straps or you hooking it in like the uh, boba fett figure would so i do like that um that we get that um and it's you know again you see it weathered a couple of scratches but the paint app on that is incredible yes you can still remove uh this top piece uh that does still come off like so um so you can actually have that removed and you know have the launcher the missile launcher in there if you actually have it so i do like that um you know if you have the blast effects it does come with that highly detailed i mean this piece is simply amazing love it 
if you don't love it, I love it. But I'm pretty sure you love it. <laughs> anyway, do like that. Um, we have that uh, sculpted or the painted 501st uh, helmet. Um, you know, this is the Gen 2, I believe, or the Gen 3. I, I'm not really sure. Just keep me honest. But I do like it has that uh, painted, tattooed uh, in honor of Ahsoka. Um, so I do like that it comes with that and this is you know, you can use this you can pop this on the figure itself So it's not something that just comes as a prop piece. You can actually use this as a helmet. So I do like that um, We have uh, the pack that goes upon uh, right under the pauldron and this what I like is because it doesn't have the straps um, It's not easy to break off and it does it is highly magnetized. So it just props right on the figure So I do love that I'm so glad they added that because I know that, I, you know, with some of my um, original 501st Troopers that came with this, you know, some of them broke off. I had to glue them back on. It was a pain. It was a pain in the neck, but I'm so glad they gave us the magnetized version. So we're going to run into that hassle. That means that listening, they have stepped up their games. These are also Rex's blaster pistols. Now, basically, these are his two uh, pistols that he actually wears with him. Um, and it's a signature Rex. So, of course, I will be using these. You know, I couldn't wait. This is this is Rex. You know, um, I love the uh, rusted paint app that you actually have on that. Let's you know that they've been through some wars. So, yep, the quality in that is simply amazing. So glad we have that. Um, they did such a bang up job with these pieces. So glad we have that. And then, of course, the typical 501st blaster. Um, this again um you get so many of these i probably have a ton of these uh, but i won't be using this with rex no need you know having his blaster uh pistols with him in hands you can't you can't beat that uh, and then of course uh this is what we have his targeting um viewfinder that he actually has um there's a way that you can pop this on um and this is what this tool is for you use this to you know prop out some of the pieces fit this in and then you're good to go so yep um and then it also comes with his torch his lighting um unit that you know keeps everything lit so i do like that um we get this piece with it highly detailed amazing can't wait to use it um and then of course we have the figure stand now again this is the you know which i didn't take off the piece i should have but this is the typical uh stand that you actually get it does have that nice chrome finish on the front with the captain rex on the logo and then of course we have that in, you know, just the regular detailed Imperial stand that we normally get, like that placing here. So, love that. Wasn't much more that we needed. And it is a dynamic stand, so of course, it has the dynamic pole that actually goes on the top, along with the crotch. Not a crotch grabber, but a waist grabber. Uh, be careful with that. You know, of course, I don't know why they make these and they're not really as secure. It hasn't given me a problem yet, but I would still basically, you know, let you know to be careful when you're using that. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen. I'm happy. I'm happy we got this. But I know what you're waiting for, because I'm waiting for the same thing. Without further ado, let's get Rex out here, get him on the table, get him propped up, and let's get it going. So you can, you and us, you, you and I both, us together, <laughs> can be the judge. Let's go.
And here we have my guy Rex in all his glory finally outside the box for you, all of you, to enjoy just as much as I am at this very moment. This figure is phenomenal. I mean, there's no restrictions when it comes to articulation. Um, I love what they've actually done with the suit. I love the weathering on this. I mean, you can just basically see nothing but quality detail when it comes to this figure. I mean, if we kind of zoom in a tad bit, you can actually see where it has a lot of the weathering here uh, along the armor. You can see the welding marks on there. Um, again, you can see a lot of the actual weathering marks that we actually have on this figure. If we scroll up and look at the helmet, you can also visually see the same thing. Um, I mean, wow. Like, they've done such a, let me just, you know, as a matter of fact, let me just give it a bit more light. Uh, when we look at this piece, um, I mean, look at that quality. I mean, that's nothing but quality that we actually get. Now, this is not how I'm going to actually have him pose and deets off, but I just wanted to show you what poses you can actually pull off with this. You do get that split boot cut there that gives you a lot of ankle pivot, so you get that. Uh, you get the joints, it's ratcheted joints in certain areas, but they did improve within the hip area, so it's not too much. Um, you get a lot of rotation butterfly uh, um, joints. That's a double elbow joint here uh, that you get. Um, again, the pauldron does restrict with articulation in the arm, but at the same time, what are you going to do? I mean, you, you're not going to have any pose in the flying position, so you're good there. Um, you get a lot of motion in the helmet. Um, I will actually show you what it looks like with the head sculpt on this figure. Um, it looks phenomenal. Um, this piece. I, I, I can't say enough about it. Um, if you don't already actually have this thing on order, you want to do it now. Um, you want to get him before he's out. And once he's out, I predict that this will be the next Captain America. That you have to get him first batch. Or you want to get him when you can. Because you don't want to run into a situation where you're sitting waiting on him for months. Especially after the release. Um, you want to get this thing because it looks great it will look great in your detail it'll look great once you get a soca with it if you put a couple of the 501st figures behind it it will give you a lot of presence but this thing is phenomenal um again i'll actually take you i'll just spin it around here so you can look at the detail on that i mean that's nothing but quality um i, I can't say it enough and i told you earlier how uh you know the ammunition pack just pops on his chest like that it is mag magnetized so it just pops just like that i mean just like so and you're good to go <laughs> that rock anyway um yeah do like the detail we actually get with this figure i do like that he actually has the targeting uh, finder here um the targeting sculpt that he actually has um you know that you actually seem familiar with some of the boba fett figures but yes i mean i can't actually say it enough this piece is phenomenal um if you don't already have them get them right now what i'm going to do is basically take the helmet off um so you can actually see how it looks with the actual sculpt i mean again it's 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 this thing is a genius piece and it's been worth the wait um much i mean seriously it's worth you know everything um that it's getting all the um accolades that they're, they're getting through this figure it's amazing again if you don't already have him you want to get him he will go well with pretty much everything and especially once ahsoka arrives oh that's icing on the cake i do like the weathering in that um jet pack that he actually has but i'm just i'm just taking him around so you can get a look um, I do like the material that they use for the undersuit, so it's no restriction there. I mean, this thing is everything that you could hope for out of Rex, especially out of the Trooper. Like, he has so much presence. But again, enough talking. Let me actually get that head sculpt popping on here so you can see how it looks. Let's go. Here we have Rex in all his glory, unmasked. So we can actually take a look at this guy, as you can actually see here. That sculpt is amazing. If you don't, you know, listen, it looks decent. It looks really, really good here. I'll even bring him up so you can take a look at him a bit more. I mean, look, it's Rex. Um, the head sculpt on this figure is amazing. It looks well with the figure. I pose him up in a different pose right now. You know, this is just him, 
little little action show off poles have the helmet right next to them this is like again these aren't poses i'm going to actually have in the detail but you know just to kind of give you the dynamics to show you that you can get a lot of dynamic poses with this figure you don't have to keep them in museum poses like it does so much it has so much presence um you can pull so many so so many different poses looks off with this particular figure having next to the 501st like i said before i mean i love it um again there's nothing too much restricting with this figure but you do want to still be careful with you know how you um you know pose them up certain ways you don't want to you know damage or crack the armor um, you want to be very careful how you pull off certain poses because you can and the actual undersuit isn't restrict restricting so you have more leeway so play around with these figures this is what we buy them for you know you want to pull off some amazing poses you can um, just do so but I mean look, this is a 10 out of 10 for me you knew that especially going into it at Star Wars every day all day if you don't already know you know now again rex all his glory the head sculpt looks great on this figure you can have it unhelmeted you can have him helmeted you can have him holding the helmet again it's rex so i don't have to say too much more about it lr for the one six scale man youtube page bring you the best of one six scale collectibles two thumbs up for me hot toys you knocked it out of the park with this if you don't already have this figure you want to get it asap if you like this video as always hit that like button subscribe and share and as always prepare for my next video i'll put the link at the bottom where you can purchase this from i did get mine from toys wonderland you can get yours from other outlets but like i said toys wonderland they never steal me wrong um again man rex all day every day lr one six scale man youtube page until we actually bring on the next figure enjoy this enjoy this video hit that like button and we are out peace